from the Cub Scouts, welcome back to another episode of Yonder Simulator Myths. A series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me things that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. The first myth of today's episode is... Push Midori off the railing when the trash can is not moved and open. Alright, she did not finish the myth, but I'm assuming that we are going to push her over the railing because you want me to... Oh, I don't know why I grabbed the knife. Ooh, it was a force of habit. I was going to shout Matari Corino. Well, let's get her to go over to the oh railing. God, and like I'm assuming you want me to push YouTube her over the so I can sneak her past the delinquents and then too. throw her in the incinerator. So that sounds like a good idea to me. Sounds like a good myth. Let's see if it's true. Alright, Midori, here you go. Have a nice fall. And that doesn't make any sense. But there you go. We're now on the ground. And since she's there, I'm assuming that we can throw her in the incinerator. But let's just make sure that we can be able to grab her. And just to make things interesting, let's spawn the delinquents oh, over no. here. And then let's grab Midori. Damn, she did like the splits down here. And let's grab her. Yes, there you go. We have successfully sneaked her past the delinquents. Throw her into the incinerator, or uh, shall I say, just carry her politely and gently into the incinerator. And then we can activate it. And that is successful. Yeah, baby. So you can throw her off the roof. You're not supposed to put her inside the trash can. You're just supposed to push her off the ledge and into the railing. So that is true. I actually want to try to do it to Kakona as well. So let's get her to go onto the roof. So if you guys want to try this one out yourself and get Kakona to the ledge, all you have to do is go onto the roof at lunchtime on Monday. And then you have to listen to her telling Saki about her getting abused and all that. And then once you learn that info, Yo. you can tell her the next day to meet you on the roof and you want to talk about domestic abuse. And she's going to be like, oh, okay, I can relate to that. Hashtag relatable. And then she'll be up here and then you can push her down. So let's wait for them to come up here and we got to listen for their info. So we're going to fast forward time. There's Saki. And there's Kakoni. <laughs> okay. I can't feel anything. For as long as I can remember, I've never been able to feel emotions. I pretend to be normal when I'm around other people, but on the inside, I feel nothing. It's not as bad as it may sound. I know that I'm broken, but I don't care. This is normal for me. But everything changed when I met him. My 
Jai Senpai. For the first time I felt something. A strong desire. A longing. A yearning. A craving. Now I finally understand what it means to be human. To be alive. I'm addicted to the way he makes me feel. I don't care about anything else. He is everything to me. And now, someone is trying to take him from me. She wants him, but not in the same way that I want him. She could never appreciate him the way I do. She doesn't deserve him. He belongs to me alone. She has taught me a new emotion. Rage. I want to stop her. I want to hurt her. I want to kill her. There is nothing I won't do for Senpai. I won't let anyone come between us. I don't care what I have to do. I don't care who I have to hurt. I don't care whose blood I have to spill. I won't let anyone take it from me. Nothing else matters. No one else matters. Senpai will be mine. He doesn't have a choice. Wow, that was killy. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, so... We gotta do another movie night and we gotta upload this one and do another one, okay? Bye, see you soon.